Just received our Nest Learning Thermostat, designed by the same folks who designed the iPod. Nice thing about the Nest Thermostat is that you can hook it up to your Wi-Fi network and access it from uh, your mobile device. Uh, you can also see your energy history, look at the local weather, and then get automatic software updates. Inside the Nest box, there's a variety of mounting kits for uh, whichever option is required. Uh, it comes with its own screwdriver with uh, variable uh, different tips. comes with uh, the mounting uh, plate uh, where all the wiring goes into it. Notice that there's a little level to help keep things uh, in line when you're doing the installation. And then the, the Nest unit itself uh, with the connectors on the back. To install your Nest, the uh, first thing you need to do is go down to the basement and turn off the power to the uh, heating system, which will also turn off the power to the thermostat. And then you want to remove your plate. And if you look inside the existing thermostat, there's a series of wires. Even before ordering your Nest, you should double check uh, their website to make sure that uh, the wires that you have here are compatible. If you can see the letters, just write down the letters and then check the online system. Nice thing about this, uh, the Nest is they do include the little tags that you can put on the wires to make sure that you, uh, you've got them properly labeled when you go to install uh, the Nest uh, thermostat. So the next thing to do is to remove the wires and remove the plate. Since most people don't remove the thermostat when painting, when you do remove your thermostat, you will learn all the different colors that used to be painted. Uh, you'll also learn how they generally will use, uh, hide all their sort of shoddy quality uh, craftsmanship. So I could have used a one of the nice plates to cover this all up. I decided I like the clean uh, look of the uh, the mount, uh, the the regular mount. Uh, so I decided to do a little repair job in order to uh, fix up the wall. After making all the necessary wall repairs, uh, the next thing to do is to install the uh, the plate, new plate, uh, level it off, and hook up all the wiring. And the last thing you have to do is to take the nest unit. And snap it into place, and then go down and turn the power back on. Once the power is on, after booting up, it'll go through a series of questions, including the, uh, the setup. The little flashing lights at the top, actually, are probably the motion sensors. You don't actually can actually see them until the camera gets on. So the next thing I can set is to go through and to select uh, Internet Connection. And what it does then do is, is does a scan and ask you to connect uh, to the internet, you go ahead and connect, and they'll ask for various access points which are available. And then you can go down and select the one that you've got, and then en enter in the, the code. So the other real nice feature of the Nest thermostat is it's networking, uh, and that you can access it remotely. So here's a, a picture of the Nest website. We can go in and actually control the Nest unit uh, either through a web browser or you can download one of the uh, various mobile phone apps and access it uh, from your phone as well. So that's the Nest Thermostat.